A U.S. Army squad defends a town from North Vietnamese forces in 1969. Luke Devereaux finds slain villager and squad members. Andrew Scott, Devereaux's sergeant, has lost his mind, turned severed ears into a necklace, and is robbing a young couple of their freedom. Scott gives up on Devereaux's attempts to reason with him and orders him to shoot the girl in order to show his loyalty. When Devereaux declines, Scott uses a grenade to murder the girl. Following their mutual gunshot wounds, Devereaux and Scott's bodies are found by another team and cryogenically frozen. Their whereabouts are noted as missing in action. Devereaux and Scott's remains, along with those of others, are brought back to life several decades later and chosen for the prestigious Universal Soldier Unisol Counterterrorism Squad. To keep their minds open and their memories of the past repressed, they are administered a neural serum. In order to rescue hostages, their team is sent to the Hoover Dam. When facing the terrorists, the team shows off its superior physical prowess and training, as seen when Unisol GR-76 repels close quarters rifle fire. When Devereaux notices two hostages who look like the Vietnamese villagers, he begins to remember his past existence. Devereaux stops responding to directives from the control crew. The Unisols, genetically modified warriors with greater strength and capacity for self-healing, are seen in the mobile command center. However, they overheat and malfunction. Colonel Perry, the leader of Unisol, rejects Woodward's suggestion to remove Devereaux from the team due to the issue. Woodward is a technician working on the project. After losing her position as a TV journalist covering the Hoover Dam tragedy, Veronica Roberts attempts to secure a piece on the Unisol project. Roberts and a cameraman break into the base and find Jer-76 submerged in ice, alive despite injuries that should have killed him. Devereaux and Scott are given the command to catch Roberts, dead or alive, as soon as she is found. They crash as she runs for her cameraman's car. Scott kills the cameraman against orders with a cold heart. Roberts is saved by Devereaux, and the two of them flee in a Unisol car. Colonel Perry dispatches the surviving Unisols to track down Devereaux and Roberts in order to safeguard the program. Roberts learns she has been set up for her cameraman's murder as she and Devereaux escape to a motel. Devereaux has to take an ice bath after collapsing from heat exhaustion. Devereaux and Roberts hide on a bed until the Unisols depart, despite the fact that they totally destroy the motel. After taking off in a stolen vehicle, Devereaux has Roberts take out a tracking device from his leg at a gas station. They set up a trap, and the gas station blows up as the Unisols get there. Colonel Perry receives an order to end the mission, but before he can do so, Scott relapses into madness killing Perry along with all save two medics. Roberts and Devereaux enter the command center bus covertly and take Unisol documents. Scott gives the command to kill Devereaux and Roberts along with the other members of the faithful Unisol squad. Roberts calls Dr. Christopher Greger with information taken from the pilfered materials. Greger tells them that the goal of the Unisol project was to create the ideal soldier beginning in the 1960s. They could bring dead humans back to life, but they couldn't defeat the body's need for cooling. Another significant issue is that Scott's last recollections are exaggerated to the point that he feels as though he is still battling insurgents in Vietnam. Police apprehend Devereaux and Roberts as they depart the doctor's house. The police convoy is ambushed by Scott and GR-76. Following a pursuit, GR-76 is killed when the Unisol truck and the police bus both crash and explode off a cliff. Roberts and Devereaux travel to Devereaux's Louisiana family property. Following Devereaux's reunion with his parents, Scott shows up and kidnaps Roberts and the family. Scott can beat Devereaux ruthlessly because he uses muscle boosters. Roberts manages to get away, but Scott throws a grenade that appears to kill him. Taking the muscle boosters Scott was using, Devereaux gives himself an injection. Devereaux and Scott are now evenly matched. Devereaux puts Scott on a hay harvester's spikes and triggers it, tearing Scott to pieces. After Roberts, 
the explosion survivor, gives Devereaux a hug. Scott is informed that he is around by him. 